is Dale's Addiction. Today we're doing a pack with me for not one trip, but two trips. Tomorrow morning we are flying to the tropics for my stepson's engagement party. We will be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fly home Sunday night. Then at 6am Monday morning, we are flying down south to the winery region of the Barossa Valley. So they need vastly different clothing. It is early spring here, but in the tropics that means something very, very different to the southern states. So I have put together two wardrobes of things that I'm packing. Um, I want to take you through it and how I've chosen my outfits. I've got cutaways of the outfits so that you can see how I've kind of pulled together things that I can wear multiple times. I'm hoping that they all work together. I wouldn't quite say it's a capsule, but definitely minimizing the number of items so that I can have the most efficient use of suitcase space to maybe bring home a couple of bits and pieces. Now, if I step out of the way, <laughs> you can see some of the carnage. Okay, so for the weekend trip, I'm attempting to take this small rollerboard um, piece of luggage. Unfortunately, in Australia, we cannot take a case on the plane that's more than seven kilos, sometimes 10 kilos. Um, so this whole concept that you guys have in the Northern Hemisphere of pack as much in as possible, as long as it fits, it's okay. We can't do that here. So hence why I'll take a small bag just because it's more convenient. But technically speaking, I should, I could take a bag of any size because I still have to check it anyway. So in the bag, I just have some underwear and band-aids because the shoes that I've bought, well, Let's just say <laughs> they're going to hurt me and so I need to do some preparation on those shoes and on my feet before I wear them. But, you know, fashion is pain, right? First things first, what I'm wearing to the airport. It's still very cool here in the mornings and so I have decided to take a white linen blazer because when I get to the other end, it's going to be warm. So I don't want anything that's too heavy because I'm not going to be wearing it while I'm there. I've got a pair of kind of ripped jeans and a beautiful lilac linen shirt. So that's my travel outfit. Um, these jeans and shirt are current season from Jakuba, so I will link them in the description box below. And they will be paired with my Hermes Aran sandals, which are, you know, an absolute for a tropical beachside holiday. A pair of sunglasses. These ones are Thierry Lazry, I think. Yes, um, they're handmade in France. They're super fun. Put them on. I will be wearing my Fendi mini baguette in the lilac crossbody. And my carry-on will be in my Fendi Sunshine Shopper Tote. This one is in the medium size. There's a bigger size than this. This will be the first time that I have used this bag, so I'm super excited. And I'll take you through what I'm packing in it as well. Okay, so that's Friday, travel day, and then I'm set for the rest of the day. We're going out for a really casual dinner at a kind of open beer garden pub kind of thing with some of the family that are traveling. So I will be taking my Zimmerman Peggy Billow blouse. Look, this was a big favorite from Zimmerman. And if you can find it pre-loved, good luck. Make sure that you buy an authentic one though, because there are a lot of fakes out there. I'll be wearing that, the jeans that I wore through the day and this pair of Joe Mercer wedges just to bring a little bit of something different to my outfit a bit of height a little bit dressy where i have used shoes i like to pack them in a packing cube now i may wear my lilac baguette or i may decide to take my raffia fendi first so um not decided on which bag i'm going to take yet i've said it before and i'll say it again if you're in australia you need a pair of pluggers or thongs or havianas I like these Havianas. Um, I always have a pair of these in the nude kind of color. They look great with everything. Good comfy shoes. If you look, truth be told, I've already seen that I can fit these in the base of my Fendi first so that if my feet get sore on Saturday night, I can simply put these on to walk home. 
Then we've got a nighty. Okay, so Saturday is going to be a pretty casual day. Not much happening. Markets, hopefully. Bit of a late breakfast with the fam. Bit of a look around. Some lunch, you know, just eating and mooching about. So I'm going to take my new Ted Baker skirt, heavily influenced by Amelia Rose. It was a sale item. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it anymore, but it's really cute. So I'm going to pair that along with my age blouse. Um, I love this blouse. I think it's a nice pairing with the skirt. I did buy the set, so it does have a matching top, but yeah, I'm, I'm not for that on this particular occasion. wasn't feeling it. And I will pair that with my Hermes Aran sandals. And I also have the option of putting the white linen blazer with it as well if it is a bit nippy in the morning. And I can carry my Fendi tote if we go to the markets and I need to collect some supplies. Okay, Saturday night, the pate. I've got this beautiful dress. It's uh, in a kind of a tropical print. It's a beautiful pink with like some um, seagrass kind of colored leaves and tropical garden print. Um, there's no point showing it to you like this. I'll just throw to the cutaway. It's just a rough try on for this actual video, but you can see that the dress is a wrap dress. I'll have the sleeves zhuzhed. I will be wearing it with these Ulla Johnson mules. Um, look, they look more comfortable than they are. Um, they will rub on my toe, hence I've got the band-aids for them, but these haven't been worn yet just around the house. So I'm going to throw those in and obviously I'll be wearing my Fendi First as well. Just a little bit of a tropical vibe and the beauty of the Fendi First is when you get them they come with this special little protector for traveling. So I was able to find that thankfully and I will pack that into my Sunshine Shopper. And then on Sunday it's a travel day and again we'll have a lunch before everyone departs back to where they come from and I'll be wearing this baby blue kind of seafoam linen shirt with the jeans and the Iran sandals. Now in terms of my toiletries I have them packed into three different packs. In this one here I have got all of my skincare um, and hair products because there's an event I'm going to be doing my own hair and makeup so I've got a lot more in here than what I would usually have things like hairspray, um, volumizing spray a lot of things I've got a base primer I've got a setting spray for my makeup so I've got I've got a lot um, that I wouldn't usually carry with me and in this little baby one I've got all of my makeup so that one's actually quite cute and concise and then in this one here this is a Dolce & Gabbana one that I bought ages ago from Farfetch or something has got all my makeup brushes eyelash curlers that kind of thing and I find that packing my toiletries in smaller little pieces helps me to kind of jigsaw them in or Tetris them into my suitcase so I've got a bit more flexibility with how I pack things phone charger okay so that's everything in my little suitcase and it all fits now to pack my Fendi first away I've got a box of of dust bags and I just picked this one it was on the top which is a Burberry one um, but it's nice and soft so I've popped my Fendi first in there I've also packed the strap for the sunshine shopper so if I want to put the strap on whilst I'm walking around the airport I can do that as I said I'll be wearing this one crossbody and I've also got my jewelry in this beautiful little Henry Bendel jewelry box travel case and inside of this one I've actually got a kind of a snake chain thing so it's got to stay straight so that goes in that little slip and they will be with me on the plane as well. So that is everything for the tropics. Well that would have been a disaster I nearly forgot my hair straightener. This one is a special edition GHD I will use it to add volume and put some curls in my hair um, and you can see here that everything fits perfectly. Okay, so let's pack case number two. Going down south, things are slightly different. Looking at layers, doing some activities, needing daytime outfits and nighttime outfits, a little bit more complicated. Also taking a larger case, one, because it's the next size up, two, because wineries, of course, I'm going to be bringing home some goodies. Usually, well, last time we went, we bought home glassware as well as special wines, the wines that we didn't buy in bulk because you couldn't, because you're only allowed to buy one or two bottles. 
so it makes sense to have lots of room so I've got this kind of medium sized case here um, and again I'll do the cutaways so you can see what I've packed all right so I will be taking my trusty Neverfull GM when in doubt take the Neverfull GM this one has been an absolute workhorse since I bought it pre-loved highly recommend great carry-on bag now inside of the Neverfull I will take a little Fendi baguette um, this one I will be carrying with me crossbody as my handbag with all my essentials in it my travel outfit will be another pair of Jacuba Becky jeans these are super comfy very soft so I want to be comfortable a basic white t-shirt this is new season country road v-neck t-shirt i can wear for layering i will have a light cotton sweater from amy paris um, again i've had this one altered i bought it from the menswear department had the sleeves cropped and the length taken up and a little split put in the side i just wanted a nice striped top so that's how i roll so i'll be wearing this as well and the old trick of carrying your jacket on the plane so i'll be taking my burberry trench as my main jacket and this beautiful lightweight burberry scarf it's like a silk cotton blend it's really lovely along with my valentino untitled sneakers now i was really torn i wanted to bring my golden goose sneakers however they do have um, drawing on them which means you shouldn't get them wet and given that we are going to be doing a couple of winery tours and the weather could be unpredictable I don't want to risk ruining my shoes by getting them wet and the illustrations all running so I decided to go with the Valentinos now I've got three lovely tops um, this is my trick for day to night looks is that I simply want to have a pair of black skinny jeans and then I'll have these beautiful lovely tops and I'll flick through some of the outfits that I'll be wearing none of these are current season except for my lily silk cami which I can wear on its own uh, in the black or I can wear it underneath one of the floral tops or I can wear it as a bit of a layering piece as well so I do have a link with Lily Silk and I highly recommend the Melon Melbourne camis. They are fabulous. They fit really nicely and they just sit nicely on you and you can decide how much lace you want to show. So I'll be wearing those with black skinny jeans in the evening. And my favorite black skinny jeans are the 7 8 Maya jeans from Witchery. They're a basic at Witchery. I love them. I highly recommend. Now in the mod shots, I have paired nearly all of the evening outfits with my Chanel Wok. This is a little workhorse. It looks great crossbody, it looks great on the shoulder, and it looks great with everything tucked inside and worn as a clutch. This one I wear so much, I'm not precious with it at all. So these outfits will be worn with my Valentino boots. Um, I have a pair of these, I might like to know it. These ones are like a velvet, like a suede, sorry. Um, and the ones I might like to know it are not suede. They would actually be better because they would be more water resistant um but you know these are a bit of an investment and they're favorites of mine they just bring an edge to an everyday look it is going to be cool so these will do their work and i just use old shopping bags to put my shoes in and i also have a favorite black textured blazer i just it, they just work wonders so i can wear this or the trench with my evening looks or neither we're not going to be outside so it's literally going to be traveling from our accommodation to the venue whether we travel or we eat at the venue i don't know i forgot to mention for this trip i know nothing except that we are doing two wine tours and one is on an e-bike that's all I know. So I mentioned winery tours um, and I thought I've got a perfect t-shirt. Look at this one. It's my Anna Wind Tour of France and it's got all of the designers. Um, this is Unfortunate Portrait and I love it. I think I can name them all. So I've got Vivian Westwood here. We've got Jean-Paul Gaultier here, Donatella Versace, Karl Lagerfeld, Anna Winter. Mm. Don't know, don't know. Um, also don't know, Isabel Morant. <laughs> if you can help me out, let me know. So I'll be wearing that while we're doing our cycling winery tour, cause cute. And I'll be pairing that with my Valentino sneakers. I'm gonna be wearing sneakers pretty much every day through the day. 
For the second winery tour, I will be wearing my Witchery Sadie cords. Again, a cropped length, this beautiful ivory color. Love these. So, so comfortable. And this cute t-shirt I picked up from Uniqlo, which is the Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter's Party. Just for something a bit of color, because if I wear too much beige and neutrals, I just feel sad. Obviously, I can also pair my scarf with it for a little bit of color as well and I'll be wearing my trench on that day. Now even though it is not necessary, because I can, I will, and I'll be taking my Prada re-edition in the water lily color. So it's um, a more travel friendly bag so I'm going to wear this when I'm on the bike tour because it doesn't matter if this one gets wet. Okay, then on the trip home, I have got this beautiful cashmere. It's by Mini Rose um, off the shoulder, off the shoulder sweater. And I'll wear that with those cords again. Just a very basic neutral look. And my sneakers, trench coat, etc. And then I've just thrown in a sweater because I don't have any other sweaters. So I've just thrown in this navy one because it will go with my light blue jeans as well as my cords and it'll look cute with the sneakers and the trench and everything else. So if I do feel a little bit chilly or I don't wanna carry a coat around, I can wear this or I need more layers. So on this trip, I will be carrying my laptop. I will carry my handbags except for the Chanel wok inside of my Neverfull. And then by the time I add my toiletries, you can see there that I have all this space for shopping um, because I've just packed one side. So that's how you pack. Um, Wish me luck. I will vlog whilst I'm away on both trips. Um, so I should have some great content for you. But yeah, that's pretty much me. And that has taken the best part of an afternoon to organize. So if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays and sometimes some extra, but that's unlikely because I've been pretty busy. If you're interested in some other content, I'll leave some of my favorite videos here and a favorite playlist here. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, ciao.